My name is Kristen Jackson, and I am the Connectivity Director at Woolly. And I am just so excited to have so many people joining us tonight. Now, of course, tonight is a extra special night. Um, now, all of us here believe in celebrating Black history and Black people all year round. But since it is February, tonight's show is Blackity, Blackity, Black. Now, throughout the pre-show, you saw some community agreements that exist in order to maintain the positive environment and energy and vibe that is spit at and practice care for one another. We ask that you please be respectful and generous with one another. Uh, acknowledge the impact of your words and actions. Stay engaged through the use of the chat and reactions functions. Please respect the artists and agree as a community to struggle against all forms of systemic oppression. Now, unless you are performing, we're not going to be able to hear you. So like I mentioned before, please don't forget to use the chat or the applause functions um, to share your energy with our performers and show them some love. And if you are in the Zoom room, I definitely want to encourage you to show your beautiful faces if you feel comfortable doing so. Um, because it's always nice to know who's out there uh, and who you're performing and sharing space with. Now, this event is being recorded and live streamed on Facebook, but to anyone feeling shy in the Zoom room, do not worry. Showing your face here doesn't cause you to be seen in the stream. Um, Another way you can show some love and spread the word about this monthly happening is by tagging Wooly Mammoth and Spit That on social media using at Wooly Mammoth TC, at Spit Dat DC, and the hashtag Spit Happens. On behalf of Wooly, we are so thrilled to have you with us this evening. And without further ado, I'm going to turn the virtual mic over to our co hosts. Dwayne B and Drew. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. oh my. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Let America be America again. Let it be the dream it used to be. Let it be the pioneer on the plane seeking a home where he himself is free. America never was America to me. Let America be the dream the dreamers dreamed. Let it be that great strong land of love where never kings connive nor tyrants scheme. Let any man be crushed by one above. It never was America to me. Oh, let my land be a land where liberty is crowned with no false patriotic wreath. But opportunity is real and life is free. Equality is in the air we breathe. There's never been equality for me, nor freedom in this homeland of the free. Say, who are you that mumbles in the dark? And who are you that draws your veil across the stars? I am the poor white food and pushed apart. I am the Negro bearing slavery scars. I am the red man driven from the land. I am the immigrant clutching the hope I seek and finding only the same old stupid plan of dog eat dog, of mighty crush the weak. I am the young man full of strength and hope tangled in that ancient endless chain of profit, power, gain of grab the land of grab the gold, of grab the ways of satisfying need, of work the men, of take the pay, of owning everything for one's own greed. I am the farmer, bondsman to the soil. I am the worker sold to the machine. I am the Negro servant to you all. I am the people, humble, hungry, mean, hungry yet today despite the dream, beaten yet today, oh pioneers. I am the man who never got ahead, the poorest worker bartered through the years. Yet I'm the one who dreamt our basic dream. In that old world, while still the surf of kings, who dreamt a dream so strong, so brave, so true, that even yet its mighty daring sings. In every brick and stone, in every furrow turn that's made America the land it has become. Oh, I'm the man who sailed those early seas in search of what I meant to be my home. Or I'm the one who left dark Ireland's shore and Poland's plain and England's grassy lea. And torn from black Africa's strand, I came to build a homeland of the free. The free? Who said the free? Not me. 
Surely not me, the millions on relief today, the millions shot down when we strike, the millions who have nothing for our pay, for all the dreams we've dreamed and all the songs we've sung and all the hopes we've held and all the flags we've hung, the millions who have nothing for our pay except the dream that's almost dead today. Oh, let America be America again. The land that never has been yet and yet must be. The land where every man is free. The land that's mine, the poor man's, Indians, Negroes, me, who made America. Whose sweat and blood, whose faith and pain, whose hand at the foundry, whose plow in the rain must bring back our mighty dream again. Sure, call me any ugly name you choose. The steel of freedom does not stain. From those who live like leeches on the people's lives, we must take back our land again. America, oh yes, I say it plain. America never was America to me. And yet I swear this oath, America will be. Out of the rack and ruin of our gangster death, the rape and rot of graft and stealth and lies. We, the people, must redeem the land, the mines, the plants, the rivers, the mountains, and the endless plain. All, all the stretch of these great green states and make America again. That was Langston Hughes. Let America be America again. Happy birthday, Brother Hughes. I'm Jason, as you can clearly read. <laughs> and I'm the co-host and founder of Spit That. And I want to at this time introduce my co-host and brother, the crochet kingpin himself, one Dwayne Lawson Brown. Thank you very much, Drew Tang. And thank you for sharing that particular piece. Um, one very fitting um, on multiple levels. Great way to celebrate uh, the brother Langston Hughes, um, but also a very telling uh, piece about how timeless writing can be and how poignant uh, and, and timely the times that uh, we are living in right now. Um, so word, word to the works and writings of Langston Hughes. Um, so we have four fantastic names uh, owned by four fantastic people who will be sharing today. Very excited about that. Um, but we also have two fantastic features who I am absolutely excited to be hearing from as well. Um, and I might share something a little bit later, all that good stuff, but we got some things we need to cover to make sure that we have a good time. Everybody say good time. Wherever you are in the world, say good time. There it is. Um, one, uh, you know, show that love, use the emojis, all that good stuff. That's a way that we know. Um, our Facebook family, we see you. We know that you're in there too. I'm over in that chat, chatting it up and hanging out with y'all too. Um, so definitely show some love. Um, there will be some things that happen when we introduce the features. Um, there will be um, a signature card that will go out with the feature, right? Um, so we're gonna introduce the feature and then a signature card will go out and you can click that Google document, sign it, put some feelings, some good vibes, all that good stuff in there, all right? Also, there are cash apps and things like that will pop up. Feel free to tip the artist, you know? Uh, as you already know, um, this has been a very trying year and especially for artists who are doing gigging shows, like they kind of don't exist um, unless you're doing digital things and folks don't really got the money to pay folks uh, in that sort of way. So we want to make sure that we are taking care of the artist. Um, community shares and supports community. All right. Um, I think with that said, we may be ready for our first open micer. Drew Tang. How you feeling, Broham? I'm ready to rock, and I think Miss Attitude is ready to rock too. So please give it up for Kawana, aka Miss Attitude. Hey. All right, I'm gonna do a little dance until Kawana is up here. Hey, hey, we doing dances. Well, well yo, so this is, up. Oh, there we go. We ready. Can you hear me? My name is Kawana, AKA Miss Attitude, totally adult spoken word artist. And I have a, a poem for you. It's called, um, can I start? It's called, bitch, you don't know me. 
You think you know me because I'm everywhere and you see me? Talked about me with some nobody trying to be a somebody by talking about me. Because I am somebody for whom people have curiosity, but then you hoes can drag me. No ho, not none of you. I am so busy with my own business, I don't even pay attention to your bitching. That's not my mission in life to listen to you. When bitch, you don't know me. I'm still figuring me out, but you know me inside and out. So I guess I should listen to you so I can learn about myself as if that would help. You don't know me. We don't hang out together or kiki, but you who can't wipe your ass clean after doing number two, think you know me when all you really know is, bitch, you don't know me. Thank you. Can I do another one? Please do another one. Okay, thank you. The next one is called Church. Where do retired hoes go? To the church. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yes, I did. I said it and I don't regret it. Why does saying the truth bother and upset yet fornication and stealing gets you a healing? Hoes used to kiss and dish, hit it and quit it. I've been a witness. Now they say they don't miss it. Did all the dirt in the world, knelt and bent, spent their whole lives in a whirlwind, slept with all the men of their kin. Now they're against it and everything fun under the sun and about to do somebody in for their same sins. Like they've always been a saint when they still got a faint taint of stank. They just got old, had to put down their cards and fold. Hallelujah, praising Jesus while looking down on the rest of us. Cause now they don't cuss, but used to curse up a storm, had a revolving door at their dorm. But now they've had a transformation cause their backs are aching from all the drugs taken, lies spoken, weed smoked, beds laid in. They had to retire. Now it's all brimstone and hell's fire. You don't agree with me. You don't like what I say. Talk trash about me like you do every day. Then go praise on Sunday. I'll be okay. I get high when they go low because I know they're just retired hoes. Thank you, Miss Attitude. Do I have more time? Can I do another one? You know, is it took me so long to get my act together? Sure. I'm okay. Over. This one is called In the Stabbing Spirit. I could stab you, but I can't stand to be around you right now. You are so lucky that although I am crazy like a fox, I am no longer crazy over you. You tried to get over, but don't you realize that God has eyes and ears, God sees and hears, and you have the nerve not to fear? Oh, you're confident in your game, but you played the game and lost, ran up on a boss, and now you need to thank God for saving you from being grabbed, stabbed, put into a chokehold, rolled in a carpet and thrown into a deep hole that they would never, ever be able to get you out of. First, they'd have to find you. They wouldn't. I thank God too for showing me who you are. Took the stars right out of my eyes and I was not surprised because God don't want me in jail. God made you and knows you are not worth stabbing. God took the caring, the desire for bed sharing right out of my heart. God said, you have a beautiful life. Put down the knife, go out and live it. And with that, I no longer felt the stabbing spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, Miss Attitude, peace and blessings. Miss Attitude giving us just that. And I am so grateful that you have poetry for your outlet because I don't want you doing none of them poems to anyone. <laughs> they, they were enjoyable to hear, but they would not be so enjoyable to see on the news as verbs. So, yes, all of the expression. The, the stabbing 
I'm in a stabbing mood. Spirit, the spirit. <laughs> it's, it's a spirit. The spirit. <laughs> the, the spirit is a, a stabbing motion. <laughs> I am. Look, man, I'm shook. Shooketh. That's right. Church is. Be nice to people. Oh. Don't to worry about that. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I am. <laughs> so my question, with the, the church poem, did you write that in church? No, I didn't. But I know a lot of church people. Mm. Fair enough. I just, I just, that just, there's a visual to me, just like writing on the back of a hymnal, that poem. <laughs> well, you could do that. <laughs> look at some of those older ushers and deaconesses. Well, <laughs> that's, that's the video right there. I would there imagine the church is a place for truth, though the truth may not always be pretty. So write those stabbing words so that you ain't doing no stabbing deeds. I come in peace always. Peace, peace. peace. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bless up. Blackity bless black, up. black, black. <laughs> <laughs> this so attitude, right. y'all. Thank yeah. You. Yeah, that part. Word. Yes, indeed. Right? Well, so that's we didn't set it off. That's how you <laughs> that that's how you spark. That's how you spark the set. You did <laughs> you, you you set the tone and then you ride the tone. Um Drew, we ready for the next artist? Uh because I, I, I got I got a, a fire, fire artist right here on, on this list that I see right here. That you do. Long time spit that family, somebody who we always happy to have rejoin our ranks and uh give us a shot of inspiration so if yes you indeed i need y'all to bang your hands together wherever you are in the universe and show some love for anita the lesbian hey family um but yeah i'm out here my mom and my housemate are like in the background uh so Word, I'm going to try something new today. Uh, like, um, I have, like, I am trying to, like, re-up my Patreon. Uh, like, the link to that is going to be, like, in my Twitter stuff. Like, so you can follow me at Anita Lesbian uh, on Twitter and Instagram. But, um, like, I'm going to start uh, singing and playing piano uh, as a part of the art that I share with people. And I've done it for a while, but like not for people in a very long time. So uh, this is a first, I'm a little nervous, but you know, Black History Month and like, I always say like the best Black history is queer Black history. The best Black things are queer Black things, like always. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to like, do a song and make it as queer as I think the artist intended it to be. So here we go. Throw back the rug, everybody. Move all the tables and chairs. We're gonna have us a good time tonight. Every time that we meet, we skip and we dip to the behave. What in the world could be better than getting together? Hey, hey. The last time we had a party, it ended when the sun came up. That's why your mama told you that you couldn't go out, stay in the house. Oh, bad boy. He's gonna sneak out tonight. He's gonna tip by his window. Cause they sure want to get out and dance. Everyone's here in the morning. The chandelier downstairs has fallen. 
I know it's hard to resist. This is the party no one wanted to miss. If you don't get home on the double, you're going to be in trouble. I hope your mama don't look in your room, cause if she does, she'll be here soon. She's gonna be mad, girl, bad girl, you got it, bad girl. Say goodbye to your friends, cause it's gonna be a while before you see them again. Oh, bad girl, she's gonna sneak out tonight, she's gonna tip by her window, cause they sure want to get out and to hand. Everybody swinging, dancing to the music on the radio, oh, oh. having a party. Everybody swinging, dancing to the music. On the radio, oh, 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 bad boy, bad boy, they're gonna sneak out tonight, they're gonna tip by their window, cause they sure want to get out and Dance. Hey, thanks, y'all. <laughs> yes. Yes. That Anita. part. Yes, Lufa. <laughs> yes. I, so creative, so in the vibe, in the zone, so challenging. I mean, to, to take a classic and make it your own. And that's what's more blackity black black than that. Word. Yeah. Yes. I absolutely now want to just go out and dance. Like, and and you brought me back to like so many parties, so many vibes. Ugh, the feels. Just <sighs> yeah. 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 Y'all show some more love for Anita, y'all. Um, and Anita, don't forget to drop that Patreon in our chat here, and then um, I'll copy and paste it into the Facebook chat. And with that said, family, I think it's time to introduce our first feature of the evening for the 2021 Adidas Black Black Spit That Residency with Woolly Mammoth Theater. Spit That Digital. We bringing up our first feature this fine evening. So Garthy was born black. I see that, Dwayne, right on. <laughs> Emoji Sumler is a nationally celebrated poet and social activist known for fusing the art of the intellectual into the familiar. As the Mo Man, he has headlined spoken word festivals such as the Austin International Poetry Festival, the Bridgewater International Poetry Festival, Wright Nola in New Orleans, and Rock the Republic in Texas. A member of both the Arts and Education and Arts on Tour roster for over a decade has seen Emoja, and this is with the big smoke, right? Um, he served as a five-time Poetry Out Loud state finals judge and an artist in residence to universities and literacy nonprofits across the state of Arkansas. Emoja, Mo Man, has also presented at social advocacy conferences like Long Beach Indie Film Pedagogy Conference and Furious Flower as a panelist for the watering hole. Now, that's the bio. I can tell you what I know. This cat right here is the real thing. He's going to give it to you in all of the blackity black, black glory. I've only ever seen him come through and drop realness, keep slammers honest, and come with a combination of challenging ideas, well articulated, <laughs> creatively rendered, and Setting slams and open mics on fire. 
He's been around and he's about to show us what he found in the around he's been. And I'm happy to have him here rocking with the Spit That Residency to give us all of his blackity black blackness. So without further ado, we bring to you Mo Man. Yo, blessings on blessings. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. Y'all, uh, first and foremost, man, shout out to everybody in this friend, especially Anita. That shit was crazy. Loved it. Um, it took me all second. I was like, oh, oh man. It, bam. So uh, I do have a book out, y'all. Um, please support it. Uh, it is a very black book. Any, if, if you grew up reading Nikki Giovanni, Amiri Baraka, Sonia Sanchez, I'm coming from those traditions. I got nothing but love for black arts movement. And uh, that, that's, that's my style. So my book is Fables, Foibles, and Other American Sins. I promise you it's a banger. I'm going to be reading a couple of poems from here. Uh, but also some old stuff and some new stuff. So uh, I'm just going to get with it. In honor of Black history, I think it's important to always look at the um, the history that is unique to us, right? Uh, because even as we engage with social justice uh, movements, we have to always cross-reference those by like the shared and lived experience of, of Black people in this country. Uh, I'm going to start off with a, a poem that... Um, it's very near and dear to, to uh, about a, there we are, Rosewood. Long, long ago, we invented a hero and cloaked him in white skin. We made him a simple man who worked with his hands like many fairy tales, there was a dancer. Her face, a fresh trauma, bedecked and blooming, loose teeth, a gift from clenched fist. She is exactly how our hero has left her. On fair skin, when rouge becomes concealer, bruises blossom into conversation pieces. Word around town was she was cheating. Let's just say lying so easy, even a dancer could do it. So when they asked who did this, she spit cyanide and said, you black guy broke it. Evidence optional, retribution mandatory, exposed villain. Justice is an angry mob. The hero calls up a crew of Confederates, proclaims boldly for all, say, we gon' get them boys. Say, any four do. Say, ever seen rope tear throat like a talon? Say, you will. Chivalry isn't dead. It does the killing. Have you ever wondered why orcs always have broad shoulders and brown skin? It's so that you don't flinch when they die. Imagine magic houses built up, ground up black boy bones, blended with blood, exposed villain. Heroes, miracle rosewood from cotton to killing fields. Ever watch a black body become a raisin in the sun? Some winter nights in Florida, nights still slay orcs armed with sidewalk while watching a sun dim from a mountain of flames burning a nigga city down to soot. The kids love these tales. They gobble them greedily like a handful of skittles swallowed while Swiggy sips a sweet tea. Rosewood. I think it's always important to uh, think about what the experience for Blackness has always been, right? Um, it is a place where the, the assumption of living is, is, is a calorie to automatic guilt, right? We just had a nine-year-old Black girl pepper sprayed by cops who told her, you acting childish like a nine-year-old child supposed to act any other way, and it only gets worse from there. Um, I remember the first time I came to spit that. I was on my way to panel for Furious Flower, and uh, uh, G. Yamazawa had brought me there, because uh, he's like, yo, yo, you in town for one day, man, you gotta hit it, you gotta see it. And uh, we, we spit poems, and it was so lovely. I had such a great time. And uh, me and a bunch of poets after that went down to the mall, which is something I'd never do now that I actually live in the city. And um, we ran into um, a homeless dude who said he was a poet. 
And, uh, you know, he was busting, he was trying to get some money. And uh, so we all kicked a little bit of loot. And, uh, you know, then he did a poem for us, right? This, this, this retinue of poets that <laughs> charge astounding prices, all of us, one of us, you know, just being blessed by this dude who we was already going to gift him with what we had, you know, and then have him hit us with poems. And we all spit poems. And um, uh, this poem, this poem is forever memorialized to me from that experience. Um, Barrow's Fire. The absence of wind and rain afforded him a kindness. Today, he is smiles and hands. He is hunger, gripping cardboard. He is please help. A beggar's death brings no burning comments, no epic events. They are cigarette lives, half smoked and discarded. And Ramadi, he knew the rules. Never leave a man behind. The mission first at all cost. Honor. Core God country. <laughs> the rat infested cobble brick pathways. The mission was multifaceted. Avoid the dummy bags and the dope sick. Evade the cops. Capture the scraps. Survive. God's country has no honors for forgotten favorite sons. They soldiers them. A motley fool band of brothers with him, infinitely still. Intimate with the roar of IEDs, recipe for bone soup, seasoned with live rounds, sprinkled with the sound souls make upon shattering a fantastic mess of fresh intricacy and nuance to worn camo patterns. How does one stop the bleeding of a purple heart? How? He came home to her. Broken and bent, she offered him plastic lipstick smiles, arms full of a brand new baby boy, eyes dissimilar from his is Wahhabi terror and Baptist bravery because life goes on and love doesn't love only you. There was a comfort in the coldness, in the emptiness of his urban wasteland, riddled with the unburied dead, but none from the lick of the nightly tra trash barrel flame, wetting his cheeks, threatening his newspaper blankets. For him, barrel fire <laughs> had long since ceased to bear warmth. Water in the desert once was his god, but all good gods are takers. This one cries tears that rots his shirt. He welcomes the wear. Imagining endings, praying they come like love, warm. God is crying again as the rains barrel down, cold and heavy, like the looks from strangers lit for their morning coffee. He is as empty as his begging bowl. I'm forever amazed. Um, by the, the cult worship of soldiers in America, uh, but the utter disposability of those soldiers once they're done with the wars. Um, the number one demographic of homeless people in America is soldiers. Uh, so I think it's really interesting, you know, when we have a culture where people won't even make eye contact with an indigent person, um, when the reality is most of us are just one or two paychecks away from that. So. Think about that next time you see uh, someone that lacks shelter. Uh, I'm going to read a, a poem from my book. Uh, again, fables, foibles, and other American sins, uh, purchasable anywhere where books are, are sold. All right. Um, I'm going to do this poem. It's Tecumseh's Invocation. Tecumseh is perhaps one of the greatest American heroes uh, we're never going to study in any kind of American history, even though he is an American hero. So I just want to read this um, and uh, give love. Awaken and ready, oh Miami. The big knives even now array. Their very body breeds pestilence, an odd auger of ill tiding. I but six journeys round the sun when the big knives found Kushinwa. Still ecstatic in their extinguishing, they renamed the sacred soil Pleasant Point. Pukshinwa, who at my birth placed the prophet's portent on the comets that blazed that I might hunt, might fight, might live as a Shawnee son should. At Mad River, I too ran. Shame, 
found me before the musket shells could. So at Wabash, Little Turtle, and Blue Jacket led. It was the greatest of shows. I am sure the ancestors saw. Turning the page. Surely now Puchinwa sits smiling with the great spirit. Surely now they will leave. Let us live. I looked for more stars to shoot. They were silent. We must not forget the Brits betray. He who makes a loud noise says, big knives kill big knives, but never for long. Most of the lifting of us, we must become as a loud door closing. Let them hear the stomping of charging feet, cloaked in the clothes of our people. Let them hear the whoop of our war cries. Sleep no longer, O oh Choctaw and Chickasaw. Will not our bones and the bones of our dead be plowed up and their graves turned to fields? Tecumseh was one of the first Native Americans to really try to put together uh, a Pan-American movement with tribes all around America. Um, and he tried in vain to really get the other Native Americans to see that, um, that no one was going to honor the treaties, right? No matter what they said, they, they were the big knives, as they were called, uh, were just going to continue to come. And, uh, you know, uh, I wear this choker that was given to me by, um, he was a Lakota medicine man that I sweated with uh, back when I lived in Arkansas in honor of the, uh, the, uh, contributions of the First Nations. Um, I think uh, all, all social justice begins with intersectionality and uh, the only struggle in America that comes close to the Black struggle is, is the Red Man struggle. And so, honor to them. Uh, I'm just a little hood, hood dude that made good, you know what I'm saying? Against all the odds, uh, with homies in prison, some of them in the dirt, um, I made it, you know what I'm saying? I was able to go to college and get a where most of my homies got caught up in gang stuff. And uh, I just like to think about them. And uh, so this is a poem from my youth, you know what I'm saying, about what it was like uh, in my early, early youth. And this will be my last poem, uh, Big Timers. I might go to sleep one more, we'll see. Rob was still with us. Taz was there too. Rob sell release back then with the bell ring. Back then, Taz padded up to show heart. Together, they were gang and grit iron, and there was a Serbian girl, Slavica, big as her tercel, big as the body of the Rob, whose big fists were small sauces, big as the company they secretly kept together. They did it big. And there was a big brother, Stoyan, awkward, big, hairy, a good 250, and still only the fourth biggest in the double wide. Then the devil snapped attacked himself, shot for the heart, survived. Like a proper dumb rock town black boy, us and them roaches, it's what we do. And I'm there, the least of us all, broken as my overdrafts, hiding from the wife I loathe, foisted on me by the families I feed, fucked from a little pillow kissing session, a little less than safe, and we are smiling, drinking Vignac aged and Baltic and Rob is swearing by the blood with all the bullets he swiped on Taz still in his pocket, thinking about spending them in a big way on an out-of-pocket Wall Street motherfucker that stay talking shit. The Slavica is cursing and giggling and flirting and dreaming big, but all the ways her and Rob would spend a life. Um... I'm gonna hurry up and finish this last poem. This is uh, in honor of, of Black history. Uh, founding. Holla if you ever noticed how when it comes to the enslaved, schools always seem to skip certain kind of stories. And, but even when the ink don't spill, it's easy as our blood, we still stains worth studying. Soldier and asked her scribe straight, ain't I a woman? Talk to plowing, planting, and picking over 200 pounds of cotton per day. And she's still a story skipped over. And I keep waiting for black capitalists to buy NBC, rename it NTBS. 
the Nat Turner broadcast station. Maybe make a mini series called I Could Have Freed a Million More. Not all Harriet's or her Uzi weighs a ton. We can make gothic noirs about quarries and blacks hunted like vampires, sleeping during the day, hiding from the sun, preferring instead to pray at night to a black star who waded through murky swamps filled with alligators, just waiting to chomp into the unwary. Socks optional, boots optional. Look at how she stayed strapped anyway, weighed down sword and pistol, calling her strut. The Big Dipper, slick how she never slipped, even after 19 trips stuck between human traffickers and the troublesome. I'm talking about Harriet, yo. Because raise your hand if you at least a little afraid of the wilderness and not really knowing where you're going. Be honest. We are the product of an off-time trifling people, and she still never lost even one in transport. Who was tipping off photos way before my Jones? Harriet. Who was the original track queen? Harriet. Who's the functional founder of feminism? Harry. Who's the base under the Brits building black liberation? Harry. Whose picture should be included in the dictionary under intersectionality? Dr. Crenshaw. But if you said Harry, I ain't mad. Because they act like we don't know. Act like she ain't a real American hope. Hero, like no one is the only half the battle we gonna get. They act like one day a benevolent old Republican was just like, I think the blacks should be free. Like she wasn't an ink stain worth studying. Like these stories were ever gonna be the answer to any test they was gonna give. Like we don't know, but we do. Now, run, tell that Playboy. I'm the mole man. Y'all have been excellent. Thank you so much. Again. Please check out my book, Fables, Foibles, and Other American Sins. It's uh, it's everything I got, and it's given to y'all. I love you much. Thanks for having me. Let's go. Am I am I muted? I don't know. Let's go. My man, Mo man, out here, bruh. Yeah, <laughs> you already know. Like the the give the brother. It's flowers. You did um, hard hitting writing, well written work, facts, <laughs> factual. <laughs> you dig? Um, much appreciated. Um, there is a way to show some love right there in the uh, in the chat. Uh, there's a Google Doc that you can click on, and then you can go in there and you can sign that joint. There is also another way. Anytime that he's been mentioned uh, by Willie Mammoth inside the jump, they've put the link for his book in there. So go ahead, purchase the book. You dig? Um, it's it's part history lesson, part poetry course. You dig? And it's and it's all fantastic writing. So definitely, definitely support this brother. Um, it's it's all love, all love. Thank you, Mo Man. Yo, um, so I know how it goes. Nobody would want to follow that. I don't want to follow that, but guess what? I got a new piece, and it don't happen very often, and so I'm going to share uh, this new piece real quick. Um, you know, I wrote it just after the stroke of midnight last night, and so it is my obligatory Black poem. So, yeah. Without fail, the Uber driver asks, where are you from? D.C., Southeast. Family from VA, they want to know origins, a roadmap to bloodline, I'm black. Black like claiming every culture because so few claim me. Black like not knowing the answer, but I got a hunch. I mean, it's jai like knowing, like, like jive turkey, a, a country blues, dutty wine black, patois back alley hooch black. Like my sorrows don't know how low I've been. That chariot better be swinging, better be sweet like the blackest berry and just as obsolete. Black, unlike snow, more like pavement, forward moving, forward motion. Black like cool, cold, black ice, cause slick be a second language and twice as rich as fossil fuel. Black, you know, like truth. Little white lies, let white men run in big white buildings. Let white men run big white buildings. Let white women defy law and find martyrdom. I'm black as honesty, like, nah, mo. <laughs> Harsh, but real black. Like mom nicknaming you stinky cause you stink. Like, let me know you home safe for real. 
like forgetting the like the absence of memory black hole space and time black holds space and time like the beginning of black like time black like a starting point a final black a finale black like i don't know what fucking country damn black is being from america but never feeling safe to ever claim it like knowing sometimes it ain't some shit to claim voted for change voted for the same black like the only black i see in school was the board and then they replaced that with something white black is my son accent on a white linen of catholic school classroom black box checked in digital head count like surviving and succeeding and playing their game while making his own black like kristen in connectivity and monique in youth services and kamala in, in eisenhower executive office and Anita spitting them damn poems and Wesley Snipes in Blade and Wesley Snipes in tax court and black as me in this motherfucking Uber because I still can't hail a taxi. Just trying to make it home safe and let someone know. Poem. Well, damn. Woo, shake it off. <laughs> My brother, you broke it down. That was a perm. That was a perm. <laughs> it was hot. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Get in your head. <sighs> right there. Get up in town. All that. Thank you, Broham. Thank you. Yo, um, all right. Uh I okay. Vibes. Vibe check. Energy check. Feeling good. Um, I think we may be ready for our next artist. How you feeling, Drew Tang? Feeling black. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Um, well, our next artist who signed up on the open mic, I'm excited to hear what they have to say, what they're bringing to the stage. Please bang your hands together and show some love for Jasmine Matthew. Hello. Uh, hi, my name is Jasmine Matthews. I am a graduate senior at Bowie State University. My major is theater arts, concentration acting, directing with a minor in music. And for my spoken word piece, it's titled Always. Our last day together was one I could not ignore. Although the weather was hot, I felt cold. Coming back home to find you waiting made me smile. For hours we had our usual laughs and talks like two best friends. Suddenly with your dying breath, you said my name. I shrieked at the sight of you falling backwards on your bed like someone pushed you in your chest. My life has never been the same. I walk in my own torment, can nobody see or hear me? I have holes where my heart is, it hurts to feel them. Remembering what once was is a sickness that lingers on. However, losing you woke me up to what I have been missing. The fire inside of me is set ablaze, I can't turn it off. What you wanted for me in life, I shall have it and more. Your spirit is with me, I feel you even now. I want to thank you for giving me the love and strength I needed for my journey. The moments I spent with you are my treasures, so I'll keep them close. When you're smiling down on me, just know I'm smiling back. I'll always love you, Mom, and that's never going to change. True that, true that, true that, that. Stay black and a thespian and an emoter. All of the above, Jasmine, you just blessed us and we thank you for the blessing. Word. Thank you. We in the house, no. If I have some more time, could I share another piece? Please do share another piece. Okay, sure. Um, this, uh, I turned this spoken word into a rap. Um, it's called Mighty. 
a go getter. That's me. I'll say it proudly and free. I got the skills to pay the bills. Let's keep your eyes on me. Just like a bomb, I can blow. Line them up, I'll go toe to toe with anyone with these guns. Don't disrespect my flow. I got the Midas touch. Stay with my hands on the clutch. Don't make no moves. Go tell these fools I got nothing to lose. Before I do it, I think it. No doubt you can't get with it. Cause when I'm done, you better know I'll be the mighty one. Bars, 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 let's go. Hey, let's go, Jasmine. Yo, show some love for Jasmine. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for your emotion and for your bars, for the raw and the real. We out here. I'd say she put the verse in versatile. Hey. I like your style. You can flow, star. You got it. Thank you. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. Looking forward to seeing you in a place someday. And it's the place to do them. Woolly Mammoth Theater, you understand? We coming with poetry, we coming with hip hop, we coming with blackness. Yes, indeed. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you fool, Drew. Yo. Go ahead, D. Something that's really dope, speaking of theater and opportunities and stuff like that, um, we are doing something called Spit That Academy, all right? Um, Spit That Academy is a special um, opportunity. Um, we're doing some devised playwriting, um, spoken word sort of energy that is happening um, with residents of Ward 7 and 8 and folks that have an intimate connection with Ward 7 and 8. And so uh, we're excited. We uh, Applications are, are done. Uh, so we're going to be starting these interviews and you'll soon know who's going and doing stuff and it's going to be lit. So yeah, um, keep your eyes on the Woolly Mammoth uh, Facebook account. Um, definitely follow, like hit that. They, there's like a, a bell to get notifications on when they're going live. Um, so definitely check that out and check out their uh, Woolly Mammoth uh, showcase sort of situations. Uh, there will be Spit That Academy performances and uh, those Spit That Academy performances will be at The Arc. Um, so it's a partnership with The Arc uh, over in Southeast. <laughs> yes, like and subscribe, hit that bell. Um, <laughs> it's funny, I have a YouTube channel and I, know, I never say that. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely stay hip, know what's going on uh, so that y'all can know when those shows are happening. Um, Drew Tang, what's popping? Well, speaking of all types of cool black geeky wondrousness and creative amazement i am happy to introduce someone who i have not seen in quite a while and it certainly brings pleasure to bring lady back to the stage please give it up for lauren bullock you're muted lauren Oh, it won't let you unmute. Hold on. Wait. Uh, we got to find that button. There. Oh, hold on. Can you hear me? There we go. Oh, he's got to silence black women in here. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> happy Black History Month. Um, uh, so I'm going to do an acrostic poem because um, I know those are like most favorite. Um, and this is entitled The Singing and the Silence. And it is after the 2014-2015 American Art Museum exhibit. One, what the museum won't tell you, but that you must overhear from a too loud tour guide is this, that the massive wall of numbered blackbird silhouettes at the entrance will vanish when the exhibit does. So sudden, an entire mural here, gone. She'll continue to inform her group that the numbers have no key. There's nowhere you can match this shadow with that species. She won't say that the artist has done this specifically because he believes that by naming things, we only limit them. Even now, realize I'm robbing you of worlds. As you step in, there's a bumbling parade of bronze dodos tempting to describe as a monument to stupidity, the kind common to waiting on someone else's stray heart. Perhaps you'd guess it's the familiar struggle of finding your footing, but you'd be wrong. The dodo didn't die of stupidity. 
just a cycle of careless trust. In fact, so much of these rooms are dedicated to non-existence, dodo, elephant bird, passenger pigeon, that it makes you wonder why obsess over things that are already gone. Walk several blocks south into another gallery and you could witness a flock of shoes threaded with red strings, folded notes in place of owners. It's everywhere. Do we think that if we study absence long enough, we'll determine what predisposes departure? Is it even fair to label abandonment a kind of extinction? These birds had no names we know. They're no one's children eventually forgotten by the news, yet their young have been hunted. They understood what it's like to be devoured by invaders and then blamed for not fighting back and in that. I find myself recalling in them too many tragedies all the mothers left with vacant shoes, all the statues that will never be made, all the limitless list of names, the way I fear, even how the stray heart I waited on belongs to a silhouette resembling every hunted child. Black, why love what could wake you tomorrow? Gone, just shoes and a note. How do you fill glass and frames with that kind of loss? Then, hands emptied, Tell me what name you could possibly give. Two, Zugumru, viewed last before leaving, is a tree trapped in mirrors, orange passenger pigeons aglow on each spindly twig. Circle walk the whole of it and the birds suddenly seem to quiver, hover, ghost. The most bountiful bird in America reduced today to memories and parlor tricks. Even molding them from amber is a kind of sick joke we humans kill so quickly, we have to fashion the fossils now. But how else to hold their presence best than by shaping it with our own fingers, as if we, pouring into absence, might hope to understand the other being, finally, totally, for once. Thank you. Oh no, thank you. Because yeah. that's all of the everything. It's good to be back. It's been a while. Mm. Been your, your writing is a gift. <laughs> thank you for sharing with us. Shoot. Like uh there was there was a reading um earlier in the or last week that like half of the open mic was in and <laughs> like just like kicking it in i was like i want to sit in everybody's workshop like i want to sit in lauren's workshop i want to sit in anita's workshop i want to sit in emoja's workshop like just 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 let me just learn i just want to sit down and learn and kick it and be around all y'all shoot um and this next artist if i'm correct um is our next feature and our next feature I had the pleasure of sitting in multiple workshops with um, both as a co-facilitator and as a, a student. And I've written some of the most uh, time and pressing poems under his uh, guidance. And so uh, that says a lot, um, you know, and counting. Uh, when, I, when I actually sat down and wrote that, that happened in a Brandon and Douglas workshop, you dig? Um, you know, like there's just joints that like cats, cats don't even know, like Brandon has inspired hella artists, um, both in the DC area and uh, across the world. Um, this is a brother who, again, very honest, very raw, very real, well written, can give you silly and give you, uh, you know, poignant at the same damn time, um, can give you bars, can give you poems, um, but the honest, the real, real honest, he's giving you himself. And he's, he's giving you all of that, like just clear honesty um, anytime that he is sharing. And that's something that's like worth gold to me, you dig? Um, there's tons of accolades. He's traveled to South Africa doing the poetry stuff. He's been all around the area doing his thing. I need y'all though, to show some love for Spit That Fam super dope writer, facilitator extraordinaire. Show your love for Brandon Douglas. Uh, what's up, Mo? Can y'all hear me? Where? Um, what's up, God damn it. Um, I, uh, 
shit, I don't know. I got I got shit to say, and I'm about to say it. Um, I'm a nigga. I'm going to say nigga, and I'll probably say some other shit. So, you know, um, unless it's like a trigger warning, like, just consider yourself one now. I'm, I don't think I have any trigger warning stuff that I need to do. But, um, yeah, let's let's get to work. I'm going to run through a few short jumps. Um, we're going to get this shit cracking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, happy to be in this motherfucker. Um, all right. My skin attracts danger and death. Thankfully, I'm neither dangerous or dead, but I could be. And I am not a threat until you make me. Don't make me. You won't like me when I'm the monster you created. Don't push me unless you want me to take your world with me as I fall. I am catastrophe wrapped in the hatred you give little infants. Fuck everyone who fed me the toxic entrees. Got me feeling like a threat. You scared yet? You should be, nigga. Next short jump, I'ma do. Um, I wrote this. Uh, in a meeting at my job. I work, I work, I work with Split This Rock. Um, shout out to Split This Rock. Uh, they got me started with my motherfucking um, teaching artist journey in particular. Um, it's lit. Check this out. Uh, I keep dreaming of dreaming. It's hard to look forward to falling through voids into the next day for the sake of rest. I wish I could just sit there under the moonlight and recharge, but here I am, an unpredictable robot, a disappearing act of courage, a living paradox, dying to be reborn. Um, we got next. Uh, this next turn I'm gonna do. Um, it's Black History Month. Yeah, it's lit. Um, I wrote this poem. I don't know. It wasn't that long ago, but I based it out of a quote from uh, an interview that um, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was giving. And he said, uh, it is a cruel jest to tell a bootless man to lift himself by the bootstraps. We be barefoot on the freshly paved roads reflecting the same smoothness of baby bottom as if a new era has been born, an era that doesn't seem interested in the old, new businesses branching into our neighborhoods that put chokehold on the roots already there, new homes for the people who don't belong here, yet buildings that were monuments of my past are only memories now. Public housing projects are getting knocked down and replaced with luxury apartments, Churches are getting replaced with con condos. Nothing sacred anymore. I mean, I could go on, but it'll just make me more upset and sad than I need to be right now. I am good though. There's all this new pavement, but there's still no boots. How can we be expected to gain ground in this rat race when we have to constantly start over while others continue to run past us, heads above the dust we were pushed into? across the finish, finish lines made for them. We're tired of brushing ourselves off. We're tired of the deliberate decisions disguised as our failures. We didn't choose mediocrity. We didn't choose despair. This pair of being oppressed and vulnerable be hell on the daily, but despite that, we still find ways to feed our babies. So I ask, when does this get to be fair? When do we get our boots with them straps? Do we have to take them? <laughs> yo, 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 relax. We don't want yours. We want our own. All we ever wanted was our own. That's that piece. Um, I am figuring this shit out, which is a very black thing. Um, it's kind of organized, kind of not, but you know, um, I, I think I'm gonna do this next one right here. Uh, this is a poem that I wrote 
uh, in it is in a, a, a homage to to black men, but it's it's um you know it it ain't just painting us in a um pretty box. It's pretty you know um well rounded. I I say um I think I'm doing all right on time. Uh, boom. We be black men. We be everything wrong with the world. We be all that is dark and scary. We be groom and shotgun wedding with stereotypes. We be asking, hey, yo, where the hoes at? We be making it rain because that's all we're supposed to do with money. We be niggas. We be rappers. We be bound to throw our potential down the crapper. We be players. We be pimps. We be chasing dimes. We be the ones who are supposed to die before our time. We be soldiers. And voluntarily drafted into the war on drugs, we be black men. Wishing to live in a state of goldenness. Instead, we be warriors from birth. We be fighting to stay alive in our own neighborhoods. We be inches away from heaven every second we live. We be dying before our time. Makes me wonder how much time we actually have. Makes me wonder what the odds have decided to stack up against us. Makes me question whether or not we're worth loving because according to society, we ain't shit. Because according to society, we ain't worth a whole man just three-fifths, so we drink three-fifths of whiskey to compensate for our lack of value, well, at least I do. Some of us Black men crack under the pressure of living while others crystallize into the jewels their cold-colored skin said they were supposed to be. We be Black men. We be diamonds in the rough. We are all precious, but we be forgetting sometimes. We be too busy surviving to remember. We be too busy dealing with our ADHD to pay attention. We be too busy surrendering to homophobia to acknowledge the beauty in each other. We be black men, aka beautiful from our birthday suits to three-piece suits from bald heads to dread heads from the rich and famous to the broke and infamous. We be black men. We be we won't, we will, we don't know anything, but we know more than we know at the same damn time. We be fearless. We be in fear. We be powerful beyond measure. We be princes dancing in purple rain, waiting to become kings like Martin. We be Amiri Baraka, Bobby Seal, Langston Hughes, Saul Williams, Marcus Garvey, Marvin Gaye, still wondering what's going on. We be black men. We be questions displaced from our answers. Somebody asked me, Hey, yo, where, where do you see yourself in 10 years, Brandon? I shrugged and was like, nigga, I don't know. I can't really see anything. Then I remembered that a black man named Ray Charles couldn't use his eyes, but he still changed the world. Got me thinking, so can I, black men, so can we. All right. Um, what it do, baby? Uh, I got two tickets to paradise. Now, I got two, um, more things I would like to do. Uh, oh, shout out to the Wakandan, um, L tab shirt that I just remembered that I was wearing. Um, I got a song that I would like to do. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to do the thing. All right, where's my mouse? Okay, um, do I gotta share the whole screen? Fuck it, all right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, um, Go to the thing. Then we gonna share it. Um, that is. There we go. There we go. All right. Um. 
this next song I'm gonna do, uh, it is a sweet, it is a, a inspired by the spiritual energy that designer had. Um, and then uh, we're gonna have some future energy, but it's gonna be a little different. Um, I know y'all looking at like a YouTube screen. I'm gonna blow it up uh, just cause I can. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I don't have anything else to say. Um, you know that it's all in the furnace. George Zimmer, Zimmer, Zimmerman. You walking around with a burner. So you kill a black boy off. You know that they sold in the furnace while in the be more. Ferguson, Cleveland, and New York, and California. Killer police officers. You know that it's sold in the furnace. George Zimmer, Zimmer, Zimmerman. You walk around with a burner. So kill a black boy off. You know that they sold in the furnace while in the be more. Ferguson, Cleveland, and New York, and California. Killer police officers. Throw something in the chat if you can hear this music good. Cause I'll just be seen as a savage <laughs> Niggas all to fuck up some shit in here make up saying uh like master p we putting it into the savagery your racist motherfuckers after me these racist motherfuckers after me putting pressure on the same system that doesn't see me as a person we gotta do something this shit is too urgent because it's dirty cops and clean uniforms just as feeling like a unicorn taking parents from the newborns putting teens in the grass how long will this last or this violence makes me mad I just wanna kill him, but I can't, cause I'll just be seen as a savage. Yeah. That's what I got. I got some balls. Yeah. Um. Boom. Shaka laka. Okay. Um. I turned it down. I was I was informed that it was too loud from from my background. Um, but did y'all hear that? Okay, let me get some thumbs up, some yes or something. Cool, cool. Oh yeah, I forgot that I can look at people's videos. Thank y'all for putting y'all thumbs up and the the thumbs in the um the jump. I got some bars and uh, I'm gonna get out the way. Um, cool, cool, cool. Uh, appreciate y'all. Um, shout out my man, Bo Man, it's one of my OGs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we've been out here. Um, 
I'm just going to say balls. There ain't going to be no song. Um, it's going to be some new balls, some old balls. So, you know, uh, just follow along with me. Um, I had it. I had an order, though. I'm trying to be organized. All right, here we go. Um, I've been sitting in the crib, sulking, getting musty. My brain's well oiled, but the pen has gotten rusty, so I'm stepping in the gym with this gospel writing hymns. These Republicans and Dems play with our lives like the Sims. I could say I'm off topic, but I ain't saying shit. I'm just venting, hoping that y'all pay attention, because I've been too broke to pay it to myself. What the fuck is going on? We're supposed to stay home, but the peers keeping quota. And I still haven't heard about them cleaning Flint's water. Maybe I'm just not tapped in. My life's a crazy ride, so I just stay strapped in. Uh, I'm going in, living for today. Tomorrow's not promised. Now much more that I can say. I'm going in, living for today. Tomorrow's not promised. Man, I thank God. Yesterday could have been my last. So whether it's empty or full, raise up your glass. Don't forget your past. Just keep it in your mind. Because if you carry your baggage, that's how you fall behind in this rat race. Also known as life. I cut through dull situations like a butcher knife. You don't need cheddar to stay sharp. All you have to do is feel for the music like a harp. I'm painting pictures with words. I'm such an artist. I'm peaceful when I beat the track with a bald fist. I'm on my business rolling heavy with like a walrus. I'm, sometimes I'm off the wall, still on target. Red dots for the bargain hunters out for my head. I'm quite locked in like my fucking dreads. These are throwaway lines I wrote in my bed. A tape full of these can still... Keep the streets fair to take full of these. Can knock a weak nigga dead. My boss too sick. They legit need meds. I don't do it for the clout, but I wouldn't mind creating. You know, it's B-Dug for me. I, I said what I said. My city needs heroes. I ain't walking around scared. I'm from D.C., but Batman can't compare. This power be on buses that be pressing for the fair, and they do it just because our lives ain't been no crystal still. All right, let me do one more verse. Uh... I like this verse. Um, so it's a bit of a story, but I'm kind of just talking. Um, was it Springer? No. Was it? What, what was it? It was Springer 2004. Now it was 2005. Now it was, it was summertime. I, anyways, I felt alive. See, I was in the studio with Omar. He taught me how to count bars. I did not know it go this far. See, now I can tell my story, express how I'm feeling, and turn my wisdom into lessons made for the children. And let these black boys know we are not the villains. I know it's scary how so many of us end up in killing. See, me, I'm just revealing the different layers of commotion in this ocean of emotions. I am speaking and have spoken in the open. I'm raging against a system that's broken. My words are weapons and I put them down like tokens on a bus of fuss. It's made of my existence. So me simply breathing, that's, that's a form of resistance. I used to romanticize taking up space. I was just adding to the numbers, simply showing face. Then I slowly realized what I had to give. Don't help me get through the bumps. Now I feel proactive. I'm out here making moves. I'm trying to go safely through an environment that sees me as the opposition. I hope this composition reaches the ears of adolescents whose fear has such a presence that it stifles their potential. These bars are nutritional for your soul and physical. I'm just hoping that what you receive from me is essential for your health. I mean, because I'm starving. I'm I'm sitting sad like I'm in a room with Marvin. And, and even though my life is tougher than shark skin, I not only conquer mountains, I leave my face carved in. Then I rush more. I don't want presidents to represent me because one day the president is going to be me. I'm not settling for me yet. I'm just working the ladder. The world needs to know that I'm pissed like weak bladders. The way I live will be a statement. Ain't no need for the chatter. And I got metaphor force to make your brain splatter. Fuck a bomb. I'm way louder than that. My awesomeness is a force and I won't cower from that. See, I want power from that. Go like a flower from that. I'm trying to do it big. I'll need the Eiffel Tower for that. See, here's my hypothesis. I'm either going to go hard like a rhinoceros or watch my dreams go up and smoke with a phosphorus, but I'm probably just tripping. Yeah, that's, that's what I got, Mo. 
Um, yeah. Uh, I do not have a book on the internet yet um, because I have not figured that out. But uh, yeah, um, I'm going to do that because I have people around me that have done it. And well, if they don't know how to do it, they'll find somebody who do. Um, but yeah, give me money. I got a daughter that I, um, that I take care of with my lovely girlfriend. Um, and you know, uh, pimping ain't easy. Um, that's all I got to say about that. Uh, yeah. I don't know how I do this any any smoother than I'm not doing it right now. Love the shit out of you, Brandon. Likewise, my guy. <laughs> Yo, show some love right now for Brandon Douglas, everybody. B Doug, our mayor. Our look, Drew, Drew holding up chat books by the one and only uh B Doug. Uh you did. Um if you I don't do, know. I do have those. Um more of the Doug like one than the uh, Adventures of a Night Owl one. I really want to get the Night Owl one um, digital because it's old, and I'm I'm probably going to uh, update it um, and 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 throw a couple bonus poems in that chunk. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, I am still a Night Owl. It's ridiculous at this point. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah. Shout out to um, to Joby for having those. I I had to make sure. He get them because you know I, I fuck with them. Um, well, yeah. What it do, baby? You making a cameo appearance? Oh. This is Camille. This is the daughter that I was talking about. Um, What's up, yeah. baby? The people say hi. hi. I am not finished, Booski. Okay. Can I say All right. I'll be finishing a little bit, Booski. Now. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I didn't plan that. She pulled up and was like, "What the fuck is up?" And in, in the energy, <laughs> um, so let me get out y'all way. But yeah, thank y'all for letting me um share this space with y'all, with Mo Man, and everybody that's been um that's been tuned in. Um, whether you stay here or not, uh, you a real one. Um, and everybody on Facebook, shout out to y'all too. Um, yeah, I'm a I'm a shout out now. Bad energy. <laughs> Mayor energy, black energy, Brandon, big Brandon energy all day, every day. Um, show some love. Um, his cash app slid through the, uh, the chat a little bit ago. It's dollar sign B Doug, the number four, and then mayor. Uh, so definitely holla at my man, tip my man, treat some well. Um, also, make sure that you sign the book. Um, there's the the signature page went out a little bit ago. So slide through the chat, sign that joint. And Facebook, we know, we see y'all too. We know y'all are over there and the, it's in the Facebook chat too. So definitely show some love for our future mayor slash president slash uh, intergalactic overlord, uh, B-Doug. Hey, Cam. And with that said, beautiful people, we would like to thank you all for coming out.